Welcome back to lecture series on game theory. Today I am going to uh, discuss a, a very very interesting game that is called ultimatum game. So think of a situation when you and one of your friend or someone uh, you are actually trying to divide a piece of cake and the idea here is this that the first player will give some particular portion to you you can say yes or no. So will you get any cake or not? Let's see that and just a request if you feel that my efforts are worth and you like the video you learn something from it uh, please hit the like button your comments are also welcome please like share and subscribe so let's see the ultimatum game so let us start discussing this game and it will be very fun so stay with me so suppose that uh, this cake is to be divided between two individuals possibly you and your friend or you and your boss uh, the player one can offer the player two a slice from the cake so this is the slice that the player one can offer this slice can be any size let's say the size of this slice is x okay so this size can be anywhere between 0 and C. So 0 means that you are not getting any slice. Uh, this size is not visible even to eyes. And if X is equal to C, it means he, the player 1 is offering you entire cake. Uh, now if the player 2 accepts the offer, then he is going to get x while the player 1 gets the remainder that will be the c minus x are here in this particular diagram he will get this much of the cake okay if the player 2 rejects the offer then neither of them get any payoff possibly all those who are watching this video they will get to eat the cake and players are not getting anything okay so now uh, assume further that the player one can divide the cake into infinitesimally small pieces so there can always be a smaller piece possible for any given x so suppose this x is this then there is a possible smaller size let's say only this much okay and so on so this is the condition or assumption that we are making in this game and you will see that how this assumption is going to uh, make the outcome very very interesting so the normal form of the game something that we do with all of our games uh, so players these are the two individuals player one and player two terminal histories as you know that in extensive form game we have terminal histories so this will be the set of sequence x z where x is player 1's offer to player 2 the size of the slice and it can vary between 0 to c while z is the choice by the player 2 uh, whether he is saying yes to the offer or saying no to the offer now uh, player function another important uh, parameter uh, characteristic of the uh, extensive form game so this tells us that which player is moving at a particular history so p5 means at the beginning of the game when the there is no history at the game player one is going to move that's logical because player one is starting game and px means player function at history x so history x is means that player 1 has made some offer to player 2 so at this node it will be the player 2 who is going to move so p2 preferences these are each player's preferences uh, and represented by the payoff here the payoff is the size of the cake that they are going to receive uh, now let's try to see this game and solve it uh, using our trusted friend one node so switching to one note 
and now uh, we will write also some things so let me do that so come on quickly so we can actually make this thing if the terminal history is here this is payoff to player one so let's say that you uh, this is u1 and this is u2 u is payoff okay so see when the terminal history is x comma y it means that it means that the player 1 has made an offer x to the player 2 and player 2 has said yes so it means the player 1 is going to the remainder of the cake or c so c minus x will be what player 1's payoff will be and player 2 will get x that was offered to him if the terminal history is x comma n means player 1 has made an offer x but player 2 has rejected the offer in this situation both are going to not receive any payoff so it will be 0 0 for both of them can we draw the extensive form of this yes we can and that's going to be very interesting so let's see that so this is the player 1 he is starting the game now player 1 can make any offer of x x can be anything between 0 to c and this need not be an integer kind of thing so it can be any small thing so uh, basically saying that this uh, possibilities of offer is given like this so this one now out of this this possibility of offer all these are possible offers anything this entire shaded area including the boundaries also because the boundaries are x is equal to 0 and x is equal to c so apart from this there is one particular x that is chosen by the player 1 so he offered this particular x okay now it is player 2's turn to decide so here is our player 2 and then he also has two choices available to him he can say yes to this offer he can say no to this offer if he says yes that is y then the payoff will be c minus x to player 1 and x to player 2 if he says no then the payoff is 0 comma 0 to both of these players now see here something interesting uh, if p1 is offering x is equal to 0 if p1 offers x greater than 0 then what is optimal for the player 2 he should say yes because x is greater than 0 so he will get something more than 0 so he this will be definitely optimal for him so p2's optimal strategy is yes okay on the other hand if p1 offers x is equal to 0 then see what is optimal for player 2 player 2 gets if he says yes then he gets 0 here if he says no then he gets 0 here so 0 is equal to 0 so he is actually indifferent p2 is 
इन डिफरेंट बिटवीन यस एंड नो ओके सो नाउ वट विल हैपन इन ए सब गेम परफेक्ट इक्लिब्रियम वट शुड बी दी पी टूज स्ट्रेटजी this should be accept all offers accept all offers for all access including x is equal to 0 and the other strategy can be Accept all offers. Offers uh, for all access greater than zero. Okay, and reject if x is equal to zero. So these are two optimal strategies for the player one. these are the two strategies for the player one in a sub game perfect equilibrium so now we have to find the optimal strategy for the player one given the strategies available to the player two so what is the optimal strategy of player 1 for each of the possible sub game perfect strategies of player 2 so let's see again there will be two situations because uh, player 2 has two strategies so depending on that player 1 can have two options uh, so first is that if p2 accepts all offers including x is equal to 0 then what should you offer if you know that player 2 is going to accept when you are offering no slice from the cake then you would not offer any slice right so offer x is equal to 0 so bad for the player 2 he gets nothing on the other hand if player 2 this is the action of the player 2 accept all offers of for all access greater than 0 and reject if x is equal to 0 then player 1 is in a fix because uh, think about this let's go open the cake thing back so this is the cake here so see uh this is the x that is being offered so the payoff for the player 1 is the remainder portion right uh player 1 can actually increase his payoff let's uh, to this entire portion by dividing a sort of a smaller piece of this cake but then we realize that this can this can be divided even smaller even smaller even smaller because we said that that crucial assumption that x is infinitely uh, divisible so in this situation 
uh, whatever player one is offering he can is increase his own payoff by offering a smaller uh, number to that so if p2 accepts only x greater than 0 then p1 does not have an optimal strategy why this is so suppose that p1 is offering x then his payoff will be uh, u1 is equal to c minus x but then x can be divided so suppose that he says that rather than x i will give you x by 2 then what will happen to payoff of the player 1 this will be c minus x by 2 and this is let's say u1 dash and we know that u1 dash is greater than u1 similarly there will be one u1 double dash where let's say it is c minus x by 3 there can be a u1 triple dash which will be c minus x by 4 so this way it can be divided in infinitesimally small and player 1 can always increase its payoff so then there is no optimal strategy for him uh, he cannot offer anything so no optimal strategy right now so then what do we realize actually the only spne that is available here is that player 1 offers x player 2 x is equal to 0 and player 2 accepts that only spne that is sub game perfect nash equilibrium is this p1 offers x is equal to 0 and p2 accepts so you see that p2 is ending up getting nothing okay now uh, if you feel that this is weird then let me give you a real life example so what happens think of a situation where uh, your immediate boss tells you that prepare a ppt because we have to make a presentation to the ultimate boss so because you are the subordinate you sat down you worked very hard and you prepared the ppt and your boss is going to make the presentation what he does he types his name at the title slide in the uh, place of the author of the ppt creator of the ppt and gives you no credit because he is the boss you cannot do anything right so this is the situation where you are accepting all offers even including x is equal to 0 so if he knows that you are going to accept x is equal to 0 then he is going to offer you exactly x is equal to 0 so this is what happens in toxic organizations so this is one way you can identify an organization is a toxic one or not if the bosses give credit to subordinates then there is some hope else nothing so is it uh, the only option available so can we can the player to improve the situation slightly here yes he can uh, there will always be a revenge of the fallen that we will see in the next lecture that will be the hold up game so stay with me and like the video subscribe the channel and thank you for watching bye take care